these are the best settings for CS2 and this is how to optimize your experience so that you don't feel like a chihuahua battling a Loch Ness monster when you're in ranked. First of all, you can change the way your view model looks and make it more like you probably had it in CSGO by using this command to maximize the FOV. This way your hands will look like they're further away from your face so that they don't cover the entire screen and make the game feel slow. Also, you can change the values of these settings right here by using these commands and typing a number in front of the X, Y, and Z in the game's command console. This way you can make your own custom config and make the view model feel just right for you. Next up, we have network issues slash lag or ping. Now, of course, you don't want to be playing with Wi-Fi on the other side of the house, barely getting any signal, or to be playing with 4G hotspot from your phone. That's probably going to give you a lot of lag, a lot of ping. It's not going to be very stable. But if you are doing everything that's humanly possible for you to do so that your network is optimal, you can further decrease your ping and make your connection to the game more stable by using this app. This app is called Gear Up Booster, and this is exactly how it works. So each continent can be selected in game so you can play on servers from that continent but you can select specifically servers that are the closest to you or your city. So for example if you're in LA and you play in New York servers the ping is going to be higher than if you play in LA servers. But CS2 might assign you to New York servers for any reason and Europe Booster ensures the best and most stable network performance when connecting to any NA or EU server because it has full access to network carriers and game servers across all of Europe and it assures that your connection is the best that it can possibly be at all times. So this right here is me playing CS2 deathmatch without the gear up booster. You can see I'm getting about 70 ping and random spikes up to 100 and sometimes this happens. So now if we go ahead and load up gear up booster, just open up the app and press on boost Counter Strike 2, pretty straightforward, easy to use, and boom, you're ready. Now, if I hop into a game, you can see that my ping is nice and low, and my connection is stable, so that this never happens again. It's a pretty neat app, and you can actually use it for free. You don't have to pay anything for it, so you just download it, set it up. It's very easy to set up, and as you saw, it's extremely easy to use. So you can go and get it from the link in the description right now, so you can test it out and see how much it improves your game. This is how much ping I had with the Gear Booster on, so you can go ahead and use it and see if you can get lower ping than me. Which, to be fair, you probably will, because I am in Greece, and we don't have servers for video games as close to us as many other countries have. So it is what it is, man. But last but not least for this video, we have the FPS part of the video. This is how you're gonna be able to increase your FPS, maybe fix some crashes, although the game does crash because of some faults in the code, which Valve is definitely going to fix as they are releasing updates nearly every single day at this point. So here, if you go to the video settings, you're pretty much gonna put everything down to low. Some things you wanna have higher so you can tell the difference between players and the environment of the map you don't want to change some settings so that the visibility doesn't get worse but generally you want everything to be low yes you are going to sacrifice some shine or texture quality on your skins but if you want to play the game and not have 30 fps with your potato pc this is what you have to do and if you put everything down to low settings and you still don't have enough fps for your liking you can try playing in 4x3 aspect ratio, stretched resolution. Of course, the game has to be in full screen for you to do that, so this is why I'm not doing this. Otherwise, I would do it because I do have a 240 hertz monitor, and I would like to be able to run the game in 240 FPS, which I can't on my native res. But personally, I do like having the game in Windows full screen so I can alt tab at any time and do other things on my PC while playing. So you can test out every single resolution in 4x3, and I guarantee you, you're gonna find one that feels amazing. People do play like this by choice because it also makes the enemies appear bigger on your screen, which helps some people out. Even though this does sacrifice field of view, it may very well be worth doing just for either the FPS or the visibility on the enemy player models. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you wanna know how CS2 broke some knives, watch this video right here.